United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry are in Cairo to try to work out a new ceasefire to end the Israel-Hamas conflict. CCTV's Yasser Hakim has more. A flurry of diplomatic activity as violence escalates on the ground. United Nations Chief Ban Ki-moon met with Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri in Cairo to discuss Egypt's proposal for peace. It was accepted by Israel and the international community, but not Hamas. The violence must stop. It must stop now. All sides must provide the necessary space to aid the victims, assist the wounded, and extend the relief to trap the civilians. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is also in Cairo. He sat with Ban Ki-moon to coordinate a plan of action. Both are pushing for an immediate ceasefire based on the Cairo initiative, but without a breakthrough so far. Hamas has rejected the Egyptian offer because it wants a lift on the siege on Gaza and opening the borders first while it demands an immediate and unconditional ceasefire. That's why the UN chief met with Palestinian and Qatari officials in Doha before traveling to Cairo in an effort to restore the peace that followed the 2012 agreement, which ended eight days of cross-border violence. The Secretary General tried to approach Qatar to push Hamas for accepting Egypt's plan. This hasn't worked out, so the other option is for Egypt to amend its initiative. Egypt says it has no intention to do so. Egypt is not planning to make any changes to the initiative. This plan is a comprehensive one to stop hostilities and protect the Palestinian people. It calls for a ceasefire, opening the borders, and establishes the basis for a peaceful process. In spite of a deadlock in negotiations so far, officials say they will continue extensive efforts in the next few days hoping to achieve peace between the Palestinians and Israelis and avert more loss of life. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.